Good evening everybody, this is Gordon from Grinning Gargoyle. Tonight I'll be joined by Peter in just a bit. We're just recovering from load shedding in South Africa. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and prepare the map so long and get it started for making Peter or Corollas, as he's actually known, um, in game as his monastery, shall I say. Um, just want to have a look at my map. It's not a very large place, there's a whole bunch of sand that's next to the river. So I'm going to set that up so long. Let's increase this to about say 45 tiles by 45 tiles. I want it to be nice and big. We don't need the map wizard. So there's a fairly large chunk here. Let's do some terrain. Yeah, terrain and we need... I like everything to have a bit of greenery in it. That looks pretty decent. Now we're going to go and add some water. I think this water needs to be a little bit bluer because it's a river instead of it's sea green. Let's make it a nice wide brush and we're going to just start over here coloring it in give that a little bit in the corner just so it it looks i'm going to try and get this a little bit wider there we go Alrighty, so let's see. Uh, the other thing is, I know he said before that his monastery has got actually quite a bit of sand. So we're going to go and edit this a little bit to have some terrain here. Let's make that a little bit smaller and put in a the road. Because there's a little bit of a road that comes past his place. into the into the building itself kind of um, there is a little bit of going to be a bit of a transition here let's widen that out a bit to dirt now why oh why am i not ah i'm not holding it down enough that explains it He's got quite a big, because he's a martial artist, so he's got quite a big lot here that's just sand. I feel like I need a bigger brush. There we go. Now we're cooking the fire. doesn't need to be perfect perfect but I know they do that the sand the dirt does go a little bit to the river oh that's actually making quite a nice effect underneath the river I've not tried that before interesting actually I've just noticed now with the river there's actually a bit of grass in it I'll have to revisit the other maps that looks kind of strange. I suppose the river does need a bit of a sandy bank. Hello viewers in chat. Feel free to ask any questions. While we wait for Peter to arrive. Oh, that's not too much. I'm 
fairly happy with that. Just bring this in a little bit or expand the dirt. I think expand the dirt. Makes more sense. There we go. Now we need to wait just a little bit to see when Peter arrives. What we're effectively going to be doing is two maps. One is going to be of the monastery as it currently stands, and then another of what he envisions it would look like in the future. So for now, I think probably a good idea would be to create the, 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 the bare bones of the building, and then when Peter joins, we can take it further. Uh, I'm on the wrong tool. Building tool. All right, we're looking for walls. Well, we can do floors and walls. Um, this is going to be made out of wood. Uh, what is this? Sewers, cave floor, smart, smart stone, carpet, concrete, and cobble. I think probably just wood for now. Wood damaged? I don't think so. Let's have a look. So his building, if I'm looking at this map, it sort of starts with a little bit of a, a jutting out section goes sort of into like a t-bone of sorts ah uh, not what i wanted i'm looking for the points so this is going to be slightly different actually no cancel that snap to grid again i keep forgetting to do that uh, So it's got a bit of a weird shape this building. I think we can probably take it a little bit further in. Plain-looking doors. We'll make them double doors. And I'm going to add some wooden or some interlaced windows. Let's rather make bars. Something airy. I should imagine monks would enjoy a bit of light coming into their place of training. Ah, worked out pretty good. a little plain building some sort of little maybe meditation hut just something small on the side give it a little wooden door and windows I don't like the placement of that window let's rather do that put in a wooden door. 
then I think we can extend the terrain a little bit with the path tool. Nah, I don't think we need the path tool as such. This is for fencing and such. We need the terrain again for gravel. And we make this a little bit smaller so that it comes up to the door and underneath of it and passes along a smaller little path into the courtyard. Little little place, maybe a little bit of a wider courtyard here. Yeah. And of course you hear the gentle sounds of chilled music, courtesy of Sirenscape. All right, I'm fairly happy with that. We can now start with I want to leave the decorations and things up to Peter, but uh, he must obviously still be struggling with the internet. It's not a problem. I should probably save this as Coronas Monastery. I noticed I misspelled Monastery when I was putting up the announcement on Twitch. My bad. <laughs> uh, let's call this um, basic version. So now, I'm trying to think, I think what might be nice is to do a little bit of um, scattering of plants and things on the outside. Let's do some scatters. Uh, we're going to use tags, we're going to use plants. some pretty colors make some just little little things popping up here and there along the path a little bit bigger bushes to this rather than scatter and I can get the angles that I'm looking for. Here and there. This is probably better back to the scatter tool, randomize it. Uh, spread. Plant 
little planters as well. It's a nice orange little flowers in there. Little planter outside. This little place. Hmm. What next? some little wild flowers here and there. I suppose this we can also change the colouring a little bit. See, it does add a little bit of variation. Blues and orange and purple. So we can add some little bit of flavor here and there to the things floating by on the river. under the water. like rubble pieces I'm not too sure about those I think I'll leave that be for now uh, back to some plants those are like pot, real pot plants maybe some little random bushes and some trees And I just realized something, I was adding those trees underneath the plants, which is going to look really, really weird. So let's go back to this layer. So using the over and under, you can do all kinds of little tricks. Oh, that's a huge one. We can probably add something like that in there. 
small little clamp next to a larger clamp is put on top of it. I imagine in the middle of the courtyard there would actually be a large or at least a few cherry blossom trees. Something something to look at, something pretty. Wow. Apparently Peter will be on in a, in a moment or two. And then we can see about that adding that. And I was doing it on top. be broken things. Hey Gordon. Hi Peter, welcome. <laughs> Finally came back on. Yes, Lions <laughs> decided to start working again. Excellent, we are already streaming and on and recording. Okay. So everybody, meet Peter, who plays the dwarf monk Corollas. Peter, I have already started laying the foundations uh, based on that uh, map of salt marsh, as best as I could extrapolate size-wise and that. I don't know if you want to hop onto the Grinningog Royal uh, Twitch channel to so you can see what I'm seeing. Okay. Did you start brick by brick? <laughs> no. I have I have all kinds of cool powers. But what we'll do is I've saved it. Um, and I'm going to save this one as, oh, I was silly. I should have saved this one as the basic one and the other one as the complex one, but it's fine. Because then you can tell me how, how you want this place decorated, etc. I've just been placing trees and little things. I think we should start at the Zen Garden, don't you? We can start at the Zen Garden. I was just actually talking about these these very nice, like peach blossom. And it was your idea. Uh, did you did were you listening in on that? No, but when? it was your idea. The Zen Garden. From way back when? When did I say this? I can't even remember. I don't have any I... recollection of it. More than a year ago. Serious? When bef before we started? Damn. Okay. So I don't know if you can see anything yet. Yes, I can. I can see the pink cherry blossom. Okay. So that's... Or is that uh, a peach blo blossom? No, 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 it's cherry blossom. I said peach instead of cherry. Ignore me. But, I'm ignorant. But, <laughs> but both of them have pink, uh, pink blossoms. Do they? Oh, I've learned something. So this place is basically very close to the water. You've got a bunch of sand bunch of dirt and then there is uh, basically a, the gravel path the road from town you know from the market area and then heading into the main building which has got a bit, a bit of a weird shape on the map so it's got a bit of a weird shape here as well and um, hmm, that's interesting why is it going through the walls that's interesting okay never mind that um, so I've put in some windows, put in some doors, there's this little out room as well on the map. So I just put it as like a little meditation cottage thing. That can actually be the, um, I don't know, guest room maybe, I don't know. Uh, I thought you know, I think, quite often yeah. the monasteries have like solitation, sol solitation solitude rooms no the grand master is okay. trying to achieve his maximum inner peace so he goes and sits in this room by himself no food or water for days no that kind of shit <laughs> yes well i won't know to be honest <laughs> <laughs> i thought you were a fan of this stuff 
no, I mean, I, personally, I, I won't go without food or water for days. So, in terms of the practice grounds, do you want it just stone or do you want it something like this? The cobblestones. It's cobblestones? What options do we have? Cobblestones? Well, um, I can do a couple of things. I don't know, actually know why that one was underneath there. Um, there's cobblestones. There's, well, this is rocks. So you can literally draw rocks. Uh, grass. What's this? Ice. What's this? Gold? Oh, literally looks like gold. Never mind that. Um, if we go to the terrain brush, we can also choose something different. So... Okay. Uh, I can... I'm uh, at the delay. Oh, geez. Okay, I just pushed... I just changed the whole thing uh, there. Yes, I mean that... Um, <laughs> what I see... Is not necessarily what you're speaking about. Yes, there's a little bit of a delay. Uh, it shouldn't be too, too long, but... Uh, it's like four seconds. Four, so, five, uh, six. How are we going to do this? Uh, did, you makes... see, did you see what the cobblestones looked like? Yes. And then I saw the gold. Which is maybe future. <laughs> and that was just walk all my gold. money goes into gold oh there, now we can do like a cr cobblestone the gravel it looks like cobblestones actually more than gravel you can continue with the theme make little pathways if you want okay now that looks like a road the gravel yeah i thought you know if you want if you want to make a zen garden where would the training area be uh, i think close to the ocean close to the water because they, there. yeah because they the monks they venerate the olive dragon turtle so which has no name with but for some other reason it is also honored by saint cuthbert I still that, need that's to... i think that's <laughs> my personal i think that's my the the, the monk's personal um deity he believes in yeah it's not yeah. necessarily the order's deity i should imagine though if you're a monk of an order you would have have to have a very similar deity to yeah. your order but it could be you know it's like a an aspect of of well, such a thing is that a big enough training area yes a little path like that and perhaps a, a little path breaking off from here if i can get it right maybe a little bit better. <clears throat> going around and we could do the gardens in between i was just thinking there should probably be a, like a back door here as well it makes sense i mean you're not gonna have just one entrance I'm going to put like a little winding path going into the, not into the forest as such, but we can, you know, fill up things, put a little fountain, pond, whatever needs to be done. If you can make a pond, that will be cool. Oh, can I make a pond? I can make all kinds of things. Uh, where do you want the pond? On like the northern side or the oh, and I need to orient myself. Western side. <laughs> well north for me is straight up. Which I can see, I'm not yeah. sure. Yes, it makes sense. It's just like the map. To the west is the ocean or the river. That's a river. Yeah, that's a river. Uh, yeah, I mean, it should be kidney shaped. Kidney shaped. Yeah, like a bean. Uh, with the lobe facing up? Or the oh, no, lobe, um, lobe facing down? It should be horizontal. 
but like this, like a smiley face. Yes, smiley face. <laughs> Very zen. A little bit bigger. That's a perfect shape. Something like that. Yes. I'm thinking of uh, photos of old quapons I've seen. Is that it's oh, old square? Yes. Like in the old imperial gardens and things. Yes. So I have a quay pond at home. Almost the same size. I'm trying to like you see this is this is where my, my perfectionist thing comes in. I'm trying to like bite pieces off to make it just a little bit smoother. <laughs> Terrible. But every time I bite i I manage to change the dynamics a little bit. It's fine. So, uh, where would those cherry trees be? All over. I'd say one uh, there with the between the path and the pond. Ooh, uh, the... So you're going to see it now in a second. <laughs> like a really yeah. large orange tree. That's huge. So you said between the path and the and the the pond should the be pond. one, uh, a small one, yes. Like over here, or where? Um, on the north side of the pond. Yes. A small yeah. one or a slightly bigger one, so that's a bit more zen. Yes, that one. Okay. Any and... one of them. You went like at each of these like little lobes, like a little where it juts out a little bit of a tree. Yeah, so if you walk there, you don't because the, the pond will be probably it will be like knee high or hip high. Yeah. So it's not just the pond standing there. There's a few trees as well. So I'm doing a bit of artistic license here. I feel it needs a bit of balance. Is this the small one? Oh. Hey, look at it. Little, just a little, a little something. Let's have a look if we zoom out a bit. How does that look? It looks good. It's a very good start. Alrighty, so now... I'm trying to see. It's cold. Are you cold? It's yeah, nice it's hot. Bethlehem. Oh, yeah, Bethlehem is a little bit colder. How about some nice conifer trees? Oh, geez, that's like a giant <laughs> conifer tree. <laughs> it's like huge. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's a bit better. These two are a more acceptable size. Conifer tree, I need to. Uh, like a Christmas tree. Oh, like a pine tree. Pine tree, wow. yeah. Oh, a few of them. Try and balance it out again with the big and the small. And it's just like regular shaped trees. Don't know if you can see that one yet. Yes, I can see them. Also, a good idea is to put a few like water lilies on the pond. Oh yeah, lilies we can definitely do. That's because I saw room. them. Yeah. Uh, I saw them on the right. <laughs> and the plants we've got water lilies or lily lily pads. Lily pads. Lily oh, pads. and water lilies if you have water lilies. That's a good question you said you normally they like you saw burp. them yes i saw the lily pads not the lilies ah something like that yeah, it's a bunch of them everywhere yeah i mean usually usually lily pads and things are quite it's little like stacks of them 
if you have quails, they eat them. They chow on them. Do they yes. chow on it, or do they chow on like the roots that are like in the water? Uh, the roots. They they'll eat anything. If you put a watermelon, half a watermelon. Yeah. And it floats. They eat it, and when you take it out, it's it's white. The grief. They can eat a whole watermelon. Some of them. Uh, Lemons, cut the lemon in half, let it float in the pond, they eat it. It's not really a lily, this poor Mickey. Is that the right shade of purple though? Well, you get a bunch of different colors, but those are perfect. A good guess with the color. I, I I have I think seen something like this. Very nice ones as orange as well. Uh, yeah, these ones I'll have to. I think, in, I think in the free state you get like very nice orange and lilies. white. Yes, and white. I think white's the classic. Yeah. Let's check in a couple of orange just for. Check, but. Unfortunately, I'm not like Alan. I can't do like six things at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does. He does uh, have a talent for it. Yeah, All right. It's, it's because he's lying, lying on his couch, watching on his YouTube, on his TV. <laughs> so how does that look? Not very good. What we can also you do... You have a talent for this, Gordon. No. No. I do not have a talent for this stuff. I have seen people that put me to shame. Yes, but they, they are like paid... ...professionals. What program are you using? This is Dungeon Draft. I should have probably mentioned that. I thought what I'll do is I'll just add a, a touch it's of grass. green. Yeah, just a bit of grass. Especially, you know, by the tree areas. Mm. Leave a little bit of dirt here and there. What I like about it is it's, it's f actually flows a lot like fluid, like wash. It's almost as if you're painting. It is. I uh, actually tried to attach the um, drawing pad um, tablet, but it's not working quite nicely with Dungeon Draft. It sort of like loses, you, you can't see where your mouse pointer is, so you've got to keep on pushing one of the buttons to reveal where it is. And it was frustrating me. <laughs> so I was like, no, enough of that. <laughs> Uh, I still, I'm still wondering where I should put the two shrines. Oh, the shrines! I forgot about that. Well, well the at garden the moment, and yes. you, you know, like Osprum is the goddess of like of rivers and sailors rivers. and travelers and things. So you can always have like a little. A little rock. I'll I'll, sh I'll show you now. I, I have an idea. I rolled. I rolled better for for that one. Because he was for a that, nice. For that um, shrine, Osprum's one. I rolled uh, rolled a lot better than the uh, the uh, Procan. Procan. If if I can remember both of them at the same time, it will be a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it jutting into the river a little bit. Yes. And then if we go to uh, what did we actually say that his the the, the Osprey shrine was going to be made out of? Can you remember? Stone. Was it with that on stone? Yes, both because I'm I'm a mason. Well, that is a very feminine looking. Stone. Uh, Statue thing, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, she yeah, because she's a you know, it's a feminine go it's a goddess. Exactly. 
So we can do something like like that. Yes. Which one do you prefer? That one looks like. Um, I wish they they had like a three D model. <laughs> and yeah, it looks like it's got wings. Hey. Yes. Uh, I'm not sure. The, the the bigger the round one looks better because the other one looks almost like a like an angel with wings. Yeah. I don't think um, Procan has wings. This one uh -huh, almost looks like you know those like 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 those jugs that you used to get carried down to the water to carry you know your water and to carry down to the river to get your water. It almost yes. like looks like she's she's carrying carrying a jug. Yeah. Um, it's like a classic statue mm. on a fountain. Yeah, your Greco Greco Roman style. I think that's quite nice. That yes, because she's looking to the, towards the river. She uh, should be looking towards the river. Yep, she is. She's looking like a down. So where would Procan Shrine be? Um, to the south of me is the sea. Yeah. I think you should be um, close to the entrance, um, looking towards the sea. Looking towards the sea, okay. Yeah, but next actually, to that boat. The sea, to you, would be to the east. Let me send you a photo and then you can see. I don't know why I didn't think of that. I sent everybody else photos. I don't know why I didn't send you your photo. Uh, where the hell is your monastery? I can't see it now. Technical difficulties and... Now, the light is like messing with this word, the old phone of mine. There we go. Uh, don't get confused. That Ostrom shrine that you see there on that photo is actually the one that uh what's an ambled should i also put it on like a stone do you think a rock the osprum oh yeah he makes a lot of shrines everywhere <laughs> he does uh, is the stream gonna be saved yes Biden's gonna have a laugh. Yeah, you can. I don't think you'll have a laugh. No. Uh, no, I mean. There we go. Taking a few jabs at him. What do you think? Uh, also on a rock by the path facing the sea. Yeah. Um, sort of in the courtyard. Yes, that's a good. It's it's facing east. I didn't realize uh, I live in a bend, bend of the river. Yeah. Now, now you understand a little bit better. I was trying so, to what, see. How... What's eleven? What's eleven? On on the map. Uh, that is Kester's leather goods. And... Okay, ten is the funny bridge. Yeah. Nine. Nine is the little farming market. Okay. And then 13 is the snapping line, one of the, the bars. And 14, that big building, is the council hall. <clears throat> so, uh, you know what I found that I thought would be perfect for your training grounds? I just need to bump up the scale again to one. We've got like training dummy things. The arrows. Because you, you're teaching all kinds of martial arts, right? Peter? Yes, sir. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, uh, all the, the ways. Because in D&D, &D, the martial arts styles are ways of like uh, the open palm, the sun soul. 
So I'm, just read, I'm just reading your guys' comments in the chat. No, <laughs> no, no, no ballista, ballistas. And chuck uh, a ballista there. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll take cannons then. Uh, uh, that's Where ridiculous. Cannons? Well, I was thinking more along the lines of you oh, would that, have some sort of... Looks like a Scorpio. Uh, this thing, yeah. That's, that's, I think, is actually a mangonel. Man yeah, the the one before the mangrenal. Yeah. Mangrenal normally th well, that's throws a, that's a yes. Wait, actually, if I'm, it is a mangrenal. Mangrenal bit. Yes. Mangrenal. Mangrenal. Yeah. And then there's an onager that I'm not exactly 100 percent certain what it is. That onager almost looks like a trebuchet. I thought. Throw a couple of dummies with some arrows in it. Throw a couple of bows down. Maybe, maybe actually put some benches. What do you think? Benches? Uh, yeah, there'd be benches on the side for observing and watching. Yes. And probably next to the river as well for a bit of relaxation. Then, if we go into the weapons again, uh, what the hell is that? Oh, arrow tip. And then we can chuck. Why do these these, these bows look huge? I mean, that's like a ten foot long bow. Literally a long bow. I think that needs to be shrunk down a little bit. Because that one is like ten feet. Yeah, that, that's huge. Scale should be, yeah. What's that? Three feet. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it's about four, four feet or so. Like this is supposed to be a Chris dagger, or oh, no, it's a sword as well. Okay, never mind. And you get um, that one, the the. Yeah, like the wavy one. Wavy one, you get um. Germans had a two-handed sword that looks like that. I'm trying to Huge. see. Almost. I'm not sure if you call it. Uh, the, uh, the German. The uh, Zweihander. Zweihander. Yeah. It's, two, it's, literally it's the two-handed. But, uh, um, but they also have like oh, a, a flam flam flamboge. Yeah, flamboge. That's what it is. Yeah. And maybe just a couple of other dummies just ready for being beaten up upon <laughs> and if you um you graduate from the dummies you go to stones <laughs> so you you just keep pounding away until your fists get stronger or your weapons yes. break <laughs> your fists break <laughs> your fists break uh I saw somebody actually ask a question that I wanted to go read up on is are monks fists considered finesse weapons? Can be because um, it's a fist, yeah. But it's actually a monk weapon. I don't know what this is doing. Oh, S is the shortcut for snap. Okay, now I know. Alright. Yeah, no, I want to see Peter's Monk actually catch a cannonball or a ballista bolt or something. Later levels. <laughs> I, I looked at it, you can use your reaction to catch. Yep. You can. Is, is it a dragon? You, I think fire? you get it at level 5. Level 3, but the oh. more you level. The, the easier it gets to okay. catch it. Which so one is dragon's ice breath considered? Um, can I catch it? Is it considered a projectile? No, it's considered a breath weapon. <laughs> <laughs> so, how about we work on this little cottage here? So, you th you said this is maybe something like a solitude. So I cannot get the word out of my mind. I keep wanting to say solitude instead of solitude hut. 
Solitary confinement. Solitary confinement. Yeah, kind of a thing. You know, you can... probably have a very simple looking bed. What, do you have like a statue of a turtle? A statue of a turtle? Or like a hmm. thing that's a turtle. Except a real turtle. Let's have a look. I don't, I don't believe so. Uh, I'm sure I saw something that was creatures or nature. So, Let's have a see. I'd say my school is the turtle Creature. school. Turtle school. I've got spiders. I've got birds nests. I've got mice. I've got fish eggs. <laughs> And I got a putty tat and cows and pig and sheep. I do not have, excuse me, I just yawned. I do not have, uh, um, turtle. Anyway, I, I like adding little birds nests and shit. Well, I, I used to have a parrot. Once upon a time. Yes. In the before before. <laughs> should we should we get should we get vengeance on Byron and put some pigeons on his statue? On his goddess's statue. <laughs> like on her shoulder. Uh, can you remind me what what he did to deserve it? No, nothing. It could just be so, like a little uh, spirit animal. So I'll I'll go full zealous on it. Have you have you not noticed her, for 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 the sakes of um, of uh, propriety, we can add something onto Procan statue as well. There's not a spider. It's like these two random pigeons <laughs> taking a dump. Uh, mice. A mouse. A mouse? Uh, Why the hell would you want a mouse on a statue? <laughs> I don't know, he catches his pigeons. This is gonna be my thing. Hiding a mouse on a map and seeing who, f who finds it. <laughs> so make him bigger, it turns into a rat. Make him really bigger, make it a dire rat. Dire rat. Dire weasels oh. protecting the lawn. You know what I just thought of? Should actually have like a bridge. Uh, a bridge over, over the pond. Mm. Make the pond bigger. No, I just need to have a small little path going from one side to the other. We do this. Um, this. Is the shadow screwing around? It is the shadow screwing around. Huh. Interesting. It's great that you have these modular things that you can use, but what happens if the shadows are screwing around? So as I can switch the shadow off. I don't even see the shadows. I don't know if you can see. I'm going to zoom in close. Look, look just oh, to the top okay. of it. And then if I no, switch I... it off, it looks like that. It doesn't have the shadows on it. Oh, I can see it now. I thought I'd try and do something like this, but I need to get it straight. Otherwise, my my inner self will not be at peace. Zooming in might help me do this a bit better. Actually, if we invert it a little bit. Hey. 
That doesn't look too bad. Wow. Looks very well. Does it snap automatically? Um, no. Yeah, it can. If I enable snap, it will it will snap. So if I do that again, for example, see, then it snaps to the grid lines. Oh, okay. Actually, that might have been an easier way of doing it. <coughs> And then we just need the the ends of the bridge, but this is now going to be underneath, like such. What if there's a way? Does it have an arc? This oh, one I... you can't actually see if it has a bit of an arc. But if I had moved it over, if it wasn't snapping, it would actually like overlay just just on top, so it would look like the. Um, what we can do is, I'll show you. Uh, what is it under plants? The lily pads. And then we take the snap off again. See, then you can like go and add, so it looks gives that illusion that hey, there's something actually underneath here. I'll put the big lily bag pad underneath. So you can see just half of it. Yep. Thanks for that effect. Oh, this is now where it gets tricky. I'd need to play around with the the layers a little bit, <laughs> but now the green ones are fine. Maybe just Move that tree just a little, little tinge off to the side. I think that looks pretty cool. Mm. So what else would be, the, uh, I, you know what, I did it again, that's that baby's cradle. I keep going for the, that baby cradle, that's not right. Baby cradle? Yeah. I was actually looking for like a simple, a simple little, yeah, like this. Just like a little pellet kind of a thing. We'll shrink down. For guests and all. A little unlit fireplace outside. What is this? Maybe, oh, these are like actual tents. Maybe, um, well, fireplace outside and a few torches on the pathway to the. Oh, yeah, we can definitely do that. Okay, before we get to lighting, let's see. Um, Canvas then. Some little. Fountain, like a drinking fountain, or well of some sort. Are there wells in this? Yes, there's a lot of them. I know there was the big open well, because there would need to be some sort of... Oh, then again, why do you need a well when you're so this close to the river? It kind of doesn't make sense. Depends on uh, the quality of the water of the river, probably. <laughs> this is true. Uh, I'm just trying to see. No, I don't really see anything. Well, I mean, there can be there can be a few fountains as well around the monastery. We can definitely do that. Uh, fountains are where? Makes sense. Uh... I think two. Sticking out underneath the. What what's the one in the middle? It's like a giant like fish. A, <laughs> is it a fish? Yeah. Definitely. The fish. Where? Like. The. Maybe over here. You can actually make it, so it it looks like it's part of the pond. Hmm. Well, 
Well, what I can do, it's sort of like I did with um, Richard's Richard's temple, put these fishy ones that are like spouting in. Just one. Want... Maybe put like a little, uh, little one like this, for example. Yes. I'm trying to see where, and then just like on top of it. Like, here it is. But... And if someone That's asks, um, how does the pump work? Then I just say magic. <laughs> Good answer. It's just like, magic. Yeah, I don't know if they go into technical things. It's, just, it's magic. Don't, don't think about it too hard. You'll, 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 you'll hurt yourself. <laughs> Actually, kind of looks like a like a dragon head. In, a, cer like in a certain a... lit light. Yes. Okay, cool. Well, there, there's the answer. This is where the water comes for the pond. <laughs> yes. It sucks it through from the river. Alright. I think just in here, something simple, like a little simple table and chairs. Nothing obnoxious. Yeah, because the temple's also open for anyone to come visit as well. Yeah, it's that's not a, a it's not a closed society. Yeah, it's like a, this could be like a guest, like I said, like a guest cottage kind of thing. Uh, if we put this underneath, temple, um, an ottoman of a neutral-looking color, like gray, off in the corner. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's pretty decent. Another spare chair. Plain, simple. Perhaps some sort of rug. In a calming blue. What do you think? This, um... Maybe not an animal. Maybe a round one. Oh, oh that square one looks nice as well. If we make the round one. I'm just worried that with the round one, it looks weird with it. Because if I make it bigger, those outside lines are quite large. I actually thought, you know, what we, somebody was saying about it that we should have actually like art packs. I was, and I said to Mickey, Haha, Mickey, get onto it. And then I thought to myself, you know what? No, that's something that I could totally teach myself to to draw. They should have made this without the lines. The the smaller ones yeah they look a bit funny i was like now the square one i suppose that could work doesn't look it doesn't look too obvious uh what no. we can also do i was a bit stupid with this oh grandiose <laughs> now in terms of the interior of this building, how would it be split up? Would you also have like a, a practice floor in here? I'm thinking now, uh, how many students do I have? Two? Yeah, at this point you've only got the two. And then the one half elf that stole my money <laughs> you don't know what she's gonna do That's... I thought maybe some sort of central practice mapped there should be a kitchen as well um I, I would say that you the Everyone should, the students and me, well, as, as I 
to the say monastery, but as the abbey gets bigger, I'll get um I'll add to the rooms. Expand. Oh yeah, exactly. Well that's what that's what I thought. We would we can but th what's nice is we can edit this at any point. Now, that's a little bit too garish for me. Ah, oh, there's a there's a carpet. Maybe a carpet with a slightly more muted beigey colour. Just like a little you know, practice area. What do you think? Okay. Um Central. Central and have the kitchens and things towards the back. You're planning open plan. Or do you want rooms? We can, um, we can put in rooms too. They should be the the kitchen should be open, mm -hmm. but the kitchen should have a stone floor. Stone I'd say floor. because the the larder should have a stone floor as well to keep it cool. Um, is this going to allow me to? Sure. There's a practice room, and remember that they are monks, so they don't have a lot of necessities and things. So how's how how do you think? Where should the kitchen be? Like off to the side here, yes. on the right hand side, left hand side. Um, I th I think the the right hand side, mm -hmm. the left hand side, should be the kitchen, and then. One room should be to the right, where one uh, one apprentice sleeps, and then. Um, oh no! We can make the kitchen to the left, and uh, then the top part mm -hmm. of the monast the abbey should be the rooms. Split it in four. So split it, split it in four. Yes. Okay, let's do that. So it's four Maybe. rooms. Four rooms. I did something. I did something very wrong there. One moment, please. <laughs> Some, something did not go right there. Because oh, north of that yellow line should be the four rooms. Ah, there we go. Yes, I was like. Every time I touch it, it's not working properly. Actually, yeah, that actually works out very well. They're proper little monk cells. Monk cells? Yeah. It sounds funny, I know, but that's truly what they call them. Still don't have a back door. <laughs> I just realized. Oh, oh it's, well, it's fine. we can just edit it. Don't need it. So, what should be in these um, monks' chambers, if you don't like the word cells? What kind of bed are we looking oh, well. at? Um, I'll say normal wooden bed. And then, like a cupboard and a table. Uh, shall we vary the, what the beds look like a bit? Um, if I check on the list here, they should be neatly folded ones. I uh, see there's some of them that looks like, uh, I suspect, um, Xerxes' bed would look like. <laughs> now, now. Uh, what color should, should we make them random colors or? Uh, olive. Olive. Yes. Hmm. Is that olive? I'm not sure we do. Olive. Uh, let's, well, let's a green, a dark green. Sorry. A dark green. Uh, well, uh, that looks you... more like olive. I'm yeah. not sure. <clears throat> Gonna randomize it a little bit. Everybody's everybody's unique. Some people like lying in corners. Some people don't. 
Some people have two pillows, some people don't. <laughs> yes. Some people sleep on double beds, some people sleep on single beds. Exactly. Um, I wanted to look for... I'm very blind. There we go. Table. <laughs> Jeez. Um, table or a little desk? Uh, more like a little desk. I'm thinking some place they can study on their own. Something like that. Well, most desks will be put by windows. Yes, that one looks good. Um, and the one in the left looks good as well. And the one in the left of the desks. Yeah, yes, the, there's four desks on the right side of the library. Yeah. And then uh, there's more desks. A lot more desks now. Well, the top left one looks good as well. Top left is like huge though. Uh, but that is that a desk or a cupboard? They say it's a desk. I'm trying to figure out how. <laughs> it looks more like a sideboard. Looks like a... looks like something that belongs in a kitchen. This or or like a room. Um. Siren's room. <laughs> then you see a cupboard. You see something about cupboards. Um. Well, it's a monastery. Would the monastery have like a little library section as well? I think they should. Add some random little chests in here. shells. I must remove the snap. That's why this is doing weird things. Half under the bed. Kind of a thing. Yeah, then there's then there, there are more actual wardrobes too that are open and closed. Nothing too. What are those foot lockers? Uh, those little ones, yeah. They yes. well foot lockers. They say small chest, but it's basically a foot locker. Can we changed the colors of the wardrobes. I haven't actually, so it all looks like the same kind of wood. Should I rather change the colors of them? Yes, because they, they're a bit, bit difficult to see with the, the floor. Actually, the chest is also a bit, a bit difficult. Let's change that to... Like that blue chest works perfectly. Underneath the one bed. That one. Yes, it, it's like you a can. Metal chest. Yes, because you can see it. It contrasts well with the wood. Well, like brown on brown, it's difficult to see. Is that brown? Well, remember, we can also choose a um, slightly darker, richer brown. Perhaps something like that. What is this? It's also a small chest, but it looks okay. weird. Maybe put that on the table. And then for the cupboards, you could What's change like it that? around a little bit, make it a. Oh, that's weird. These are not making. Oh, okay. It's only certain things that it changes. It's like the outside border. It goes and changes to a darker brown. Okay. Oh, I suppose it's not a, it's not a, a 
train smash. That everything. We were those funky cupboards. What cupboards are they? Just cupboards. Yeah, but I thought that's actually that's actually what we should have had. Um, for 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 kitchen cupboards, that actually works nicer. I was just trying to see. So that's the kitchen slash lather. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. Well, that's what you wanted. Yes. I, I'm trying to remember now under what thing did I put or did we find... Um, I think it's fixtures, yeah. Fireplace. What kind of fireplace do you want? It's basically those four on the right hand side there. The big grey one, the big red brick one. Then there's like a little type, like two smaller ones. One with like a wooden mantle and one without. Um The red brick one looks nice. It's quite big though. It is huge. It is huge. That's why I'm think actually thinking I'm going to move this table. Uh, I think I'm going to delete these tables and then put the... Oh, you can... Can you shrink it? You can shrink it. Tiny a bit. bit. You can make it. But we can also make it stick so it looks... You know, like most, most fireplaces actually had the wood on the outside. It's just it's alarming for me. I thought with the stone. How's that look? That looks good. Alright. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Where were those stupid desk table things? I'm actually curious now. When I clicked on that. That fireplace is almost like more like a, a oven now. It is. Yes. Makes sense. But when I clicked on this, I saw it brought up two blocks. Can I stretch this thing? Oh no. I can, but it makes it like huge. <laughs> like, you're really, 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 really huge. Perhaps some sort of preparation table with some chairs and things for you guys to sit at. It's um, square table. Square table. I don't really have a square table. These these round oh, well, ones. Well, re rectangle then. Yeah, rectangle. Uh, there's a little bit of a cloth over it too. Don't know what kind of color tablecloth you want. Nice serene green blue. What are your thoughts? Orange, white. maybe. Orange. Uh, white always gets dirty. <laughs> Everything gets dirty. You just don't see it. <laughs> yes, but if it's white, you see it. <laughs> it's like you wearing a white shirt, Gordon. Doesn't matter what you're gonna do. It's gonna get dirty. <laughs> also true. There's you can you're gonna spill everything that day on it. But if you wear a black or brown shirt or blue shirt, nothing gets nothing messes on it. Ah, uh, true. All right, how does that look? You just need to add some some clutter chairs. of some sort. Oh, there's, there's chairs underneath the tables. Though. Oh, okay. But food, there we go. Food, cluttered. Chopping board. Skeletons. Some fresh caught fish. Did you say skeletons? Yeah, I, I saw the <laughs> skeletons on the tables. Well, that looks like a... Uh, yes, a cutting board. Yeah, casting board with um, lots of names. Then we can put some nice looking 
fruit on the table, a hunk of bread, huge knife, huge fork, huge everything. You know, it's like America. Everything's got to be big. Yes. Big French uh, loaf in a dwarven monastery. And like this huge like champagne bottle of wine. Should probably also have a barrel yes, of some sort in here. Yes. A keg. Uh, must be meat. A leg of lamb. What what is that? A leg of lamb or uh, uh it looks like picture. pork. Pork leg. Or ham ham leg or something. Yeah. Ham leg. Should be a, there should be lots of them everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> there should be one or two on the table where the wine bottle is. Um, I was just thinking, you can add all kinds of little, here's even some chicken, some chicken pieces. Does this is change? A bucket? It doesn't change color, it looks like. Is there a, a, a bucket? Is there a bucket? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there probably is. Uh, so we were, so I think, under storage. No, it doesn't storage. Just the um, bucket full of chicken pieces. Room. You know, I saw a bucket somewhere. I swear. I know I saw something somewhere. Yeah, my next character is probably going to be a. Uh... Like a old soldier that he was a colonel and uh, his name was, was uh, his surname was Sanders. <laughs> uh, soldier background, um, Medal of Honor, wears red and white, smells faintly of chicken. <laughs> Shivered. I cannot. Uh, no, red and white go black and black and red. Uh, check out. Ah, his name is going to be Harlan Sanders. <laughs> That's some candles. Candles on the tables. So necessary. It's actually something that we haven't put up anywhere else in the space is lighting, but let's first sort out decoration. So what, what would be here? If this is sort of like a training mat, I suppose we'd also need some, some of those weapons racks somewhere along the side. Let's just get it back to normal size. I'm wondering now, how, how are they going to get light uh, torches or oh, there's, stone torches? There's no. torches. Um, stone basically, fixtures. Basically like torch brackets. Yes. Um, that we can pick up <laughs> all over the place. Torch a brazier that's what i the the name they should be a few braziers make them look like braziers though it's, lan oh, it's, it's lanterns lanterns there are some lanterns oh you know what this place needs bowl lamp <laughs> uh i you're going, to, you're going to like this idea, I promise. If I can find it. Uh, yeah, well, I'm way of the sun salt, so there should be light in here. Crikey. Now, I'm looking for... The pillars. Ach oh, man, it's under its own section. Make some nice looking wooden pillars. In the middle here, holding up the roof kind of a thing. 
got to reevaluate this a little bit. Not to go overboard. Well, it's gonna need pillars. Yeah, those ones look a bit funny there. Just something you can say it's uh, a little bit heftier. Chucking in some more torches. Your music is making me sleepy. It's making me sleepy. That's that's the freaking worst part. I've probably yawned thrice. <laughs> I don't get to use that word a lot. Thrice. Yes. I think we need some side tables in the rooms and candles in the rooms would probably be yes. better. Yes, they should be. I keep forgetting it's like... I need to think of this monastery of South Africa 2020. <laughs> ESCOM strikes again. Yes. Alright, let's chuck some lighting on there. Simpler looking candles. And perhaps... A book or something. Where were the books? Oh, well, we can figure that out in a second. Um, all right. So, kitchen done. Training little place done. Light done or light fixtures done. What else? What else would your monastery have, Peter? Um. Okay, lights done, fixtures done, doors. Should have doors. There are doors. Can't you see them? There is a door. I see, <laughs> I see the front door. And then there's doors into the rooms as well. Okay, and the metal parts, is that windows? Yes, the metal yes. parts are windows. Okay. So if there's a fire, um, and the windows are blocked, then... Uh, there's only one exit. There is currently only one exit, but you can always put in a door like over fire. here, for example. That's a, that's a fire hazard. Um, or maybe to the right. Take one one of the windows out and make it uh, oh, yeah, a that, door. Oh yeah, that we can do. Um, well, you don't even have to take a window out. Yeah, no, no, oh, because I've got the select tool on instead of the building tool. tool. And then the, the the the. I was thinking of a cellar as well. I don't know how well a cellar would work being so close to the water. But it's something, water cellar. something something to consider in the future. Yes, underwater cellar. Um like a bathhouse. Nah. And underground <laughs> bathhouse. Like a like a like a bit of a, a, an homage to your um dwarven ancestors. <laughs> Not that I think they would be impressed with all the water. Nah. I, think I was thinking of an homage to uh, the other campaign. With? The other campaign. Yeah, but what, what part in that campaign? The what the baths. Um, hmm. That's interesting. The one where you played a gnome. Oh, yes, 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 yes. That campaign. The Neville, one we haven't Neville's played campaign. in two years, yes. Yeah, it's not quite two years. <laughs> Trying to see if there's a way. It's been ages. Because when you put in the light, 
you see here you can it actually does the light around corners but now like the light along this pillar it doesn't block only the walls block light so pillars doesn't block well i don't think it's going to hmm as you see you can use like a light light thing like that and then that's how you can give the illusion of oh he has he has light coming in through a window okay gonna do that Can actually make like a day night versions of this map fairly easily. That's probably something that I should be doing anyway. Hmm. You never know when you bastards are gonna get attacked by things. Like this would be a good daytime. Um I'm gonna save it as such actually. Corollas Monastery basic day and then I'm going to save as night and then I'm going to show you the little trick with the light so now when you're in here with the environment uh, let's just leave that as that for now so I'm going to zoom out a bit you go and you adjust you can go and adjust the whole thing so you can make it like blood red or a little bit greener or bluer the atmosphere like the sky yeah it's like it's it's or just the general atmosphere ah uh, okay so like you use a a blue and now all of a sudden it looks like nighttime yes then, red almost looks like dusk then you wouldn't have your light at the windows hey select the damn it thank you i should have done this before i put in the lights but it's fine <laughs> i'll have to see yeah speak i think in the in the front door uh, there should be two lights outside and then a few like lanterns on the pathway to the pond and from the house oh yeah that we can do lighting yeah. the path and then one Let's do that quickly towards the the river so lighting so two torches on the outside as well either side of the door yes and then Perhaps on the outside of the store as well. And then lanterns along the path, you say? Yeah, so. If. Well, I'm not. I have one, one human um, student and one dwarven student. Yeah. And then people come visiting whenever, so, so they can see the path. No, stop yawning. You're going to put me to sleep. <laughs> Damn it. And like if they need to chase a cat or something, they need to trip. Put lanterns on the bridge. <laughs> yeah, one or two. Or a small lantern. Uh, I suppose I could actually shrink them down a little bit. Damn it. Okay, great. Now, that way.
Now, that's quite a bit of light. Now we go into the light tool again, and we go and we make those lanterns, for example, a nice cheery, cheery or softer light. It's actually, this is actually like super relaxing to me. That's why I'm enjoying doing these videos for everybody. And yeah, these maps will probably also become available on the Patreon and that at some point. So I think that's nice for the lanterns. Actually, and I kind of like that light for the bedrooms as well, for the candles. Do you have um, creatures? Can you make fish? Uh, we can have a look. Otherwise, we put turtles in that pond. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to think a fire would be quite a, a, a general glow. Yeah, like that. And then... I think that looks pretty nice. I don't think I missed any um, lanterns or anything. Doesn't look like it. Maybe add a little bit of a lantern over here. Looks a bit weird. I wonder if I can take this. And say copy. Ah, you can. Look how nice that is. What did you do? I, I, you can copy and paste the the. So if you get the... a lighting effect that you like. Ah, okay. Then I can just put a lantern there. Nice. Because so, you can um, put one at. Um... Not Osprim, yeah, Osprim's um, statue. Well, like a monument. Little, a little, a little candle burning there. Yes. Uh, and one at Procam. See, now I can remember. <laughs> but when it needs to, I don't. That's the Sea God, and the other one. <laughs> yes. Sea God and the River God. Oh, did I, I wait wait I'm gonna use my new trick that I learned before the candle light uh, I want to copy this and then I want to paste it and other candle like how it just creates like a little random place for it to exist there we go. And it chucks out the nice shadows and everything. Damn, dude. I like that. I think for now, that looks pretty good. It does. Now I need to find some really nasty monster to throw at you guys in all these beautiful maps so that we can make use of them. Goblins. <laughs> they haven't oh. fought in any green skins in this campaign. Nope. None whatsoever. So I'm going to export this now. And we're going to call this Carolus. Ah, Carlos. Carolus. Monastery. 
I got the for Carolus's name. I got the inspiration from um, a Swedish king. Are you serious? Yes, his name was Carolus, and he they called him Carolus Rex. Well, Rex meaning king. Yes. So I'm going to transition now to, or not transition. I'm going to go to. I'm going to choose a different output for a second. Just to show you what the final map looks like. Voila! And that's our, and that's our battle Yeah, map. nice. I think that looks freaking brilliant. I'm so glad I figured out this thing of, that you can put rocks underneath the water. The, the layering tool in Dungeon Draft is exceptionally powerful. I, I must admit. But I like that. I mean, even the soft, the soft light just on the trees. The, these trees look like they're in shadows. I think that's very awesome. Very, very awesome. And then, of course, the lighting and the rooms themselves. Brilliant. And thank you very much for your inputs, Peter. Oh, cool. Your monastery is now complete. And I think we're going to call it there for, for the evening as well. Um, thank you for those who popped in to chat with us and to have a look. Uh, this video and all the rest of the videos is available on our YouTube channel. Just have a look for Grinning Gog World Gaming. Um, I do post links on all our socials. Um, if you do want access to these maps that we've created, we'll do, we're doing a whole series on them based on Saltmarsh. I'll be doing some of the official maps as well. But, so that I don't ruin the surprise, none of my players will be seeing this. Uh, those maps will only be available to Patreon subscribers. Uh, so go to patreon.com slash and uh, yeah, if you feel like supporting us, there's a whole bunch of options available to you guys there. Uh, but further than that, we will see you guys again. Stay safe, and we will check you next week.